This new video model can generate image to video or text to video in near real time speed. I think this is the fastest AI video generation I've personally seen. There are great services like Runway, Kling, Leo. All these services take usually at least 15 to 20 minutes for generating videos. But this particular service, this particular model, this particular company claims that you can generate near real time. Uh, they claim it to be real time, but I'm calling it near real time video generation and i tested it myself the video generation speed is excellent on fal at least less than 10 seconds you can generate a video and there are two different modes text to video and image to video so in this video i'm going to break it down for you and i'm going to show you how you can access this model and play with the model and is this model good enough for you to use it in your startup or SaaS or whatever that you are trying to build but if you are trying to build something i think this is the best time obviously because you've got a lot of api endpoints not just for image models but also video models. Imagine the Will Smith spaghetti video. The game has been completely changed. And now I'm presenting you a new model, LTXV, which is again a new game changer in this particular domain. Let's get started. I think there are only two places where you can access this. Right now you can go to Hugging Face Spaces and then access it. Or you can go to FAL and then access it. I'm going to show you here, but here there is a lot of wait list. So anytime you create a generation, you have to wait on the queue. So I'm going to just scroll down and then use one of the demos that they've got which is most likely cache you can see here this is the generated output for a prompt that says a cyclist races along a winding mountain road clad in aerodynamic gear he pedals intensely the one thing that you would notice is i think it sometimes produces the deformed face if you remember the older time of stable diffusion you would obviously remember like the face the eyes the fingers were the things that we used to see it is not anymore so i am i don't think that is a problem with this model as it is and also the company has said that the model that they have released on FAL and on Hugging Face is a research preview model. It's not the final model. So when the final model gets launched, it'll be open source and people can even run this on consumer grade GPUs like, you know, RTX uh, 4090 that is available at your home. Like if you happen to have one, I don't have one. So you can basically generate it not necessarily always in A100s, like H100s, you don't need like very high-end GPUs. You can do it on like consumer grade GPUs, which is pretty interesting to see. And uh, I guess people are already looking forward to create a comfy UI node. Other thing is for video generation model, at this point, at least you have to give very detailed prompt and the detailed prompt actually helps. And you can also give negative prompts here and you can see the uh, pre preset resolution. There are like a bunch of resolutions that you can see starting from uh, like 1216 by 700, this is almost like the YouTube thumbnail size and it goes all the way back down. And once you start reducing the resolution, you can generate more number of frames. Once you have less resolution, um, once you have higher resolution, then you generate less number of frames. 24 FPS means in one second, you get 24 frames, two seconds, you have to generate 48 frames. So based on the resolution, your video duration can actually change. There are a bunch of advanced settings, but the thing with Hugging Face Spaces is right now it is running on EA100. The model is kind of available here. So you can go here, see the details and all these things, but it takes a lot of time. Sometimes you go into a queue, like for example, I can show you if I refresh this, most likely when I run this, you would see that there is a prompt here. If I click generate video, you can see that there's a long queue uh, and I'm on queue 10 by 10. <laughs> that means it's going to take a lot of time. Another place where you can go generate this is you can go to FAL and um, you know, this is based on what they, whatever they have announced it here. So it can do text to text to image. It can do image to image. And uh, some of the demos that they've shown are like pretty interesting. Like it doesn't look like anything like what we saw on Hugging Face. And um, the qualities are top notch, ridiculously amazing. It's not what we see today, I would say. So I would say that we should have that open mind, be hopeful. I'm happy that this model exists. I mean, like in no way I have got a single complaint that the model exists, even though sometimes it doesn't look, um, you know, as polished as it is. The other thing is like they claim that their model uses uh, some kind of new uh, frame to frame consistency. So you don't see the flickering effect that you usually see with uh, the video generation model. The frame interpolation is really good and I tested it as well. I'll show you the video. So I went to fall and I gave a prompt. The prompt is quite a, quite a long prompt. I use this prompt because this is exactly the same prompt I used with Holio, Hoilio or um, Minimax or whatever the service is. Probably the best video generation at this particular point. I mean, Luba Labs would come closer, 
Kling um, is also a Chinese service. But uh, if you just see like non-Chinese service, Luma Labs is somewhere there. And this uh, Hylio, which is also a Chinese service, is like probably the top-notch one. So the prompt here is this. An elderly American grandmother has her face etched with the lines of a lifetime, tries to hold back her tears. Her eyes glisten with emotion and the corners of her mouth tremble as she fights to keep her composure. And you can see it's 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 describing somebody who's trying to not cry. Um, one of the things that you can see here is that this particular prompt, if you notice this, it says, despite her efforts, a single tear finally escapes. This is a very good video. No complaint at all. This is an amazing video for what it has produced. It's a five second video probably took less than uh, ten, like five seconds maximum for me to generate this as like no other no other model at this point with this kind of quality comes closer to this I can bet I mean I can let you know uh, if there is something that I have probably missed I think cog video x also doesn't come closer to this let me know in the comment section if I missed anything so I believe this is the best near real time or like fastest video generation but I'll give you the same prompt on Hylio so if you go to Hylio and uh, the same prompt, this is exactly the same prompt I used. The same prompt I used. And look at the quality. There is a massive, massive difference in the quality. And uh, I think that is what they would aspire to be there someday. Um, I mean, Hylio, Hylio, uh, Hylio. I'm just butchering the name at this point. Hylio, let's call it Hylio. This is like the gold standard of AI video generation at this point. I mean, this grandmother looks or American. I, I don't know if she looks American. I don't know, but she looks so real. And at some point you would see in one frame, you could see like the tear actually coming down um, because we said in the prompt that despite her efforts, a single tear finally escapes tracing a path down or whether the cheek, I don't know if it actually comes down to the cheek, but the single drop escapes the prompt there ends and the instruction following is like impeccable it's quite amazing and nothing comes closer to it so i'm comparing the new model which is supposedly going to be an open source model with the gold standard it is like comparing gemini flash with uh, let's say claude 3.5 sonnet not a fair comparison but i want to give you the range uh, that you have got like one is the newcomer just like literally launched the research preview the other one is like the best in the world at this point the next one is they do also um more more things like right? or you can give another prompt I, i'm again comparing this in this prompt also you can see an Euro european man and a japanese woman look up in the fear at a distance and screams with a burning exploding city background dark clouds covering the sky so there are some details like extremely very well captured you can see background like there's like a dark clouds the camera focuses on the woman's face so you can see her expression um, I don't think the camera movement is particularly amazing with this particular model. And also you can see the background. The background is pretty good. But you can see their face uh, does not hold the ethnicity that we wanted to hold. Like for example, the European man. I mean, maybe the man looks like an Italian man based on my European knowledge. Is this how a Japanese woman would look? Not very sure. Like I'm not, I'm not very familiar with geography and uh, how women would look at different geography. Probably we should have like a comparison between different women. But... The good model, this is a good model. I'm going to show you the best model, okay? The comparison with the best model. This is the best model. The same prompt on Halo is this. I mean, look at, this is this is like straight out of a Hollywood film. I mean, like if, if um, uh, like James Cameron has, uh, or Michael Bay, I should say, has uh, directed a movie, this is like literally out of this. The details on the women's face, the guy looks probably European. Um, again, I'm not an ethnicity expert. There is a blast at the background and uh, maybe dark cloud is not there, but everything else is like so accurate, so on point. I mean, nobody can beat this model at this point. This is top notch stuff. So you can actually see where this model stands with the best in the industry. I also tested image to image. I mean, the famous or infamous uh, Sam Altman with a bunch of people. And I actually said everyone walks away. Uh, this is my prompt. And there are two things that I noticed here. I think here uh, the uh, the aspect ratio of the image matters a lot, I guess. One is that. The second one is the prompt also matters a lot. I said everyone walks away. Uh, not everybody walked away. Like Ilya is smiling. I mean, Mira is smiling. You know, Greg is 
not smiling like static like sam is making some kind of a face here or maybe smiling um so nobody's walking away maybe it's because like a uh, five second if i go to the image video you can see it uh, talks about a bunch of details um, an astronaut astronaut flying let's see this is a prompt to give this this is an image that they've given as part of an example and you can see in real time how much time it takes it took me what less than five seconds probably uh it took me less than five seconds still generating um it's doing some kind of yep this is there a pretty good image um so if you ask me uh can i do product photo shoot probably i should be able to do so we're going to test that right now so i'm going to go to your um perfume shot maybe like i'm going to take one of these um very well poster okay i'm going to take a poster and uh maybe this one okay so i don't know if i can use the image let's see i'm going to go back give the image and um animation let's see i'm just going to say animation and we're going to see so i think if even if the model is not as good as the existing models with the current uh, research preview which is not like the full model the full model is going to be much better than this i guess even with the current form i think okay it it didn't it didn't do the animation so maybe what i should say is um, nothing let's see if i don't give anything will it still work without a prompt because that is how we used to do stable diffusion stuff so that would be pretty interesting i just uploaded the picture no okay <laughs> yeah it, it looks like the, it looks like a movie theater or something like the man is disappointed and he is throwing something so maybe i should give a prompt but um, i would love to see product photo shoot but because with this one it did a pretty good job so i'm trying to figure out the aspect ratio and all the other things i will probably have a follow up video because this is just it's it's just day zero of this model i wanted to get this news out as soon as possible and give you a couple of examples i would also be happy to know what is monetization plan like how are they going to sustain because we don't want like every other company to be like stability uh, coming dropping a model and then just poof vanishing we don't want that to happen we want them to sustain so i'm definitely looking forward to see how this company is going to sustain over a long period of time i think flux has nailed it to be honest two models one with commercial license one without commercial license and the third model is the top notch which is not going to be open source i'm happy with that like i'm happy with flux snell flux snell in fact and i would love to see what they are going to do with this but for now ltxv is um, amazing thank you so much for who have developed this company and uh, open source this or to be open source this model but for now i'm very happy that the model exists the speed is amazing there is nothing that comes closer to this particular speed of ai video generation so if you want to build something in this space this is probably the best time you could probably explore this api endpoint see you in another video happy prompting